everybody, it's Heaven for the Win here. Today's tutorial is actually going to be on how to update your uh, RGH, JTAG, RJTAG, you know, whatever, to the newest uh, 16547 7 dashboard. Um, yeah, so I mean, this is going to be the most in depth tutorial. Uh, you guys say you love it whenever I explain it the most I can. I hate going to like five different tutorial videos just to get one thing done. I don't want you guys to have to do that, so. I'm going to try this my best. If you get any errors, I'm going to be straightforward with you right now. I didn't make these tools. I cannot explain the errors. If you get an error, do exactly what I do. Go to google.com, type it in. You usually go to a modding website and look at the replies. But, uh, yeah. Or if you have an error, you know, just go ask the person you bought it from. If you made it yourself, well, I mean, you just got to figure it out, dude. So, first what we're going to do is download, uh, XE builds this file pretty much. Uh, all these downloads will be in the description. If you have your NAND, like your OG NAND and stuff on your CD, then uh, you don't have to download Flash 360 and you can skip the first part of the video. But I mean, this is, I would say, this is the easiest, I guess, safest way to go. Because this is, I'm going to do it, you know, straight up for you guys so you can follow me step for step. I'm not going to try to rush through this, but I don't want this video to be a half hour long. So, uh, when you download uh, these two things, all you have to do is open Flash 360 and it'll be in a for folder like so. Plug your USB in and just straight click it and drag it to your USB. And uh, plug your USB in your JTAG and here we go from there. Alright, so now that we're in the console, all you gotta do is go to XEX menu. And, uh, yeah. So when you're here, go down to Flash 360 click it uh, and never mind the flash don't be in there and it's not there to look just like this so click flash360.xex it'll say a bunch of crap uh, actually you gotta click X and then A what X does it's a backup and then uh, A gets the process rolling so some people it only takes a few seconds mine it, it gives me an error or something and it just slows the process down to basically a damn near halt and uh, I mean, air doesn't really bother me, so yeah. This isn't something you want to rush through and screw up your whole console, so you know, the air, I guess, it can save me as much as it does slow me down. So I'm gonna uh, cut scenes so you guys don't have to sit here for 20 minutes. Alright, so right now it's at 99%, and uh, it'll say press any button, continue, you can just press A, and uh, this next part I got confused, I screwed it up so many times, but uh, yep, I don't know, I was like AFK at this moment, but yeah, just bear with me for a minute. Alright, anyways, there we go. Press any button to continue, and you press the back button to go uh, back to your main menu, so when that pops up, I suggest just hit A, and then press the back button on your controller, and it'll take you to your main menu and you got that part done so time to move to the PC alright so now for part two just uh, open up your um, USB if you're using it this way if not uh, you can turn your CD on I have both um, like I said I do have flash 360 ways you know it's pretty much dead on so uh, just open it and all your stuff will be in it, sh it should all be in your flash 360 folder and now you got this new file called flash dump uh, DMP at least bin so what I want you guys to do for safety I want you to go on it's really fast and it can be really helpful so go to new go to folder type in flash DMP backup and just you know move it where you won't forget about it and you see it and all you do is click on flash dump drag it to the backup and now you have uh, two you gotta get you might have to give it a second but it's all good alright so while this is taking its sweet time we're gonna open up XC build and uh, it should be at the bottom but I don't know how you guys got your setup not have size name change but anyways it looks like this to say XC build GUI 2.0 we'll downsize that and uh, it looks like the flash dump's done. So, alright. 
there's multiple ways of actually getting it in here one's clicking open go to your computer hard drive or whatever your USB and clicking it one way is putting your flash dump on your desktop dragging it in or my most favorite way is just straight up putting it right next to it and dragging it into the very top first one and uh, you know give it a second and you know it, sh it pretty much went right if it doesn't give you an error all check marks at the bottom are green except for the CPU key and if it put all your stats so this is all dead on to so 1.0 uh, Jasper so uh, next step what you're going to have to actually do is get your CPU key if you do not know what that is if your console is on right now like mine is all you do is turn it off wait about three seconds put your thumb over the eject button if it's a slim or hold down the eject button if it's a fat console uh, wait until a blue screen pops up then you can let off of the uh, eject button and that's called Zell or XELL if you didn't know that that'll show your DVD key, your CPU key so on and so forth and uh, some people it stops right there and you get CPU key some people I've seen it for some reason you know just keeps going down so if possible you may, might want to take a picture with your phone or screen cap it or something like that so um, I already got mine on the CD so if you have a CD it's real helpful if you have a CD you can actually open your uh, thing in here it's pretty much ready when you put your CD in like that um, so yeah now uh, when you open that it should all be green check marks at the bottom it should already say uh, 16547 for custom kernel dash but when you go to kernel version you're still going to want to scroll down to the very bottom one but make sure it says uh, 2.0.16547.0 and uh, you know make sure this is checked I mean I have all these checked I don't know anybody that hasn't and everything seems to be pretty good so click generate hacked version and give it a minute and everything to the right will start to change Uh, some people, you know, it's pretty much instantly done. Some people, it takes like a minute or so. But uh, it'll create a new. Uh... Yeah, you guys can close it. Whenever you're done, just close it. Alright, so now you're going to go to your USB after you plugged it in. Go down to Flash 360, um, copy it. You're gonna want to have the whole thing ready, so copy it. Go down to Hard Drive, go over to Flash 360 already. Or actually, go over Catch. Click Paste. It says, do you want to override it? Click Yes. Even if you do, it took mine a while, so I just cut scenes. And uh, I went to Hard Drive again, to make sure it was there. So it was there. Flash 360. You'll see two new files. And uh, you're just going to go back to flash360.xcx. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so now you're going to click A to write it or overwrite it, whatever you want to call it. And instructions are on the screen right now in Sony Vegas. It is very hard for me to see. Uh, if you want to keep your KV, like it says, click yes. If you want to ditch it, click B. I want to keep mine, so I click yes. And uh, press the A button. Or, yeah, press the A button to start and it'll start doing all this like I said the instructions are on the screen so uh, when it gets to 100 percent I'll tell you what to do it says press any button continue you can just click A and now what you want to do is press the back button on your controller and it restarts so what it does is it actually does a countdown actually you gotta press back again to shut down it does a countdown and as soon as your uh, console shuts off I want you guys to do what I do. I've been told this works for the past forever. Um, after as soon as it shuts down, unplug the power brick wire out of the back of your console for 20 seconds. I don't know if that's the myth or what, but I'd rather not chance to screw my stuff up. So just unplug it for 20 seconds. So you can follow in the tradition. Plug it back in. Turn your console on. Go uh, and I mean it should work, especially to get to this point. So go all the way over go down to council and there you go so there it is right there I'm on the newest dashboard 16547 so um I mean this is an easy 10 minute tutorial so please click the like button if this helped you if you got any questions or something comment below like I said I'm not the developer of these tools if you have a problem you know you're better off Google searching it than asking me 
So, uh, also, if you guys want more, fuck. If you guys want more gaming tutorials or modding tutorials, whatever, just remember to, what up, JMP? Remember to comment, like the video, and subscribe. Love all my fans. It's Kevin for the win. Everything modding, glitching, gaming. It's Kevin for the win. And I'm out of here. Whoop.